What's shaking, bacon? Today is another 90 degree day and we are expected to get some possible severe weather in the next three days is what the weather says to me. Uh, Humidity is pretty high, just kind of trying to keep everybody on the cool side of life, which is a little bit harder than what you might think. The kids have already been out and done their exploratory randomness uh, out around the farm and trying to help me out with the keeping cool thing. So I'm watering Oz, making sure he's all good. I've already done the Misfit group, uh, Judith and Mac, up in the, the main pig yard. And now I'm doing the south part where Oz is and then where the feeder pigs are going and living right now. They'll be moving uh, probably this weekend sometime to let them knock down some other grass. Uh, their area is pretty, pretty done. I like to have them in a solid fence uh, when they're being picked out. That way it's easier to catch them. They, you don't have to run the risk of them running through a fence. It works out much better. But we're going to take a look at Oz and see how he's doing. I had a request to come see him, so here you go. And then uh, we're going to check on the feeder pigs and give them a mid-afternoon snack. Focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You got to work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. What's shaking, bacon? So Oz is about due for a move. He's going to be moving on the next day or so. We're also going to be moving the rest of the piglets. Hey, buddy. Hey, big man. That big man. So this big boy isn't for the faint of heart. He's a pretty big dude, very large. But he's kind of a puppy dog, which is awesome. Uh huh. He likes his tummy stretch like you wouldn't believe. My little big man. My little big man. And yeah, we're just uh, seeing how he's doing. He's actually real cool. We've got a new hut for him this year. It's uh, so he starts out usually in a trailer, makes sure that he remembers how to move in a trailer because uh, all of our pigs are trailer trained. Um, that being said, this year he's moving around in what's called a Vic hut, and the Vic huts are actually really cool because they're not like a polydome where it lets a lot of like sunlight in, it lets minimal sunlight in, so it stays actually really cool in there for him. Which quality, huh? Quality, he loves it. Uh, the unfortunate part is, is he can move it, but he doesn't seem to move it too much. Um, when we are going to stake him out in a, say, more permanent area this fall, uh, for the winter, he will have his Vic hut stapled to the ground so he can uh, move it around. But Oz is doing good. I had a request to see Oz. I don't know if I'll catch his ears on camera this time, because he likes to like hold them over his eyes and then he'll move him out. He's a pretty cool dude. He's my favorite. One of my favorites. Aren't you Oz, man? But yeah, Oz is, uh, he's no small dude. You're a big guy, aren't you? Yeah. You're no small dude. You're a big guy. The mid-afternoon snack for these guys is actually pretty watery. I like to make sure that they're well hydrated in these super hot days. And yes, I am aware of the big size difference in our piglets this year. So these little ones, they're Chelsea's piglets. And these piglets got kind of taken advantage of by the bigger ones. So mom was very lenient with her udder this year. Yeah. Everybody that was bigger got more food than these little guys got. That being said, they all will grow up to be really nice looking pigs. As far as feeder type quality, we are going to save those ones back for us. Just because I know how to I know how to take care of the underdogs pretty well, so it's no big deal for me. But these guys are growing well and hot to try. I left you up on the fence because this is the chaotic part of the day. Because, like I said, these guys, they like their vittles. But these big guys, they're getting pretty pushy, so... The little ones, they'll go into a different pen here in just a little bit. 
so it's not going to be quite so so much of a crapshoot for them and them getting pushed out it's going to be a lot more fair and then they'll get a little bit of hay with their ration right now The ration for these feeder piglets is going to change quite a bit as soon as my dairy cow calves. They get quite a bit of her extra milk and get real big real quick off of that added protein to their feed ration. Uh, also, it kind of turns them a little bit nuts. So if you're planning on feeding like a raw dairy milk to your piglets uh, when, they, when they are eating their food, be prepared that they love it. It's like a drug. So just an FYI on that, it is a, it is a definitely a thing that they will enjoy. Um, and then these little guys, these little guys in this pen are going to grow pretty fast after that. They just need a little bit more supplementation than say the bigger guys do. And like I said, they're going to get separated into their own pen um, as soon as they move down the way, which that will be this weekend. Long story short, this is kind of how it is in the heat and the weather. Uh, I hope I made my subscribers day with uh, the Oz. Uh, I hope I caught his ears on video so you could see him sh do that because it's actually really cool. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on keeping on here and uh, make sure everybody stays cool. Thanks for tuning in guys. Check you later. Once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that. Don't let somebody take your time and your work. Focus on yourself.